thanks for joining me again. Um, I had an interesting idea this week, and that's to get a little bit of extra practice in, maybe see if I can speed up my painting skills, do at least one painting a month around a theme, something that I can share with you, and it's something that maybe we can knock it out quickly together. So I hope you enjoy this. If you like the idea of these types of videos, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to follow along with my art journey, please subscribe. I really appreciate your support. I will list the items that we're using, all the brushes and colors in the comments below. And we did not end up using the cerulean blue that I talk about in the video, so don't worry about that color. And that's it. All right, so let's get started. I bought a canvas pad, um, and this is just practice paper, so all I'm doing today is doing a practice painting. I'm going to do a wave, and I found this picture. It's a free picture on Pixels as a reference because reference photos do tend to turn out a little bit better if you can see that. And so the photographer is Hernan Pacara. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So, all right, so I saved a copy of it here so that I can use it as a reference. And it's a heart-shaped wave. I thought it was beautiful, and then I thought it would be a fun little um, thing. We could see if we could pop something out pretty quickly. I'm going to use um, cadmium yellow light and red to give me the orange hue, titanium white, and phthalo blue. And then I may use cerulean blue for the sky. Even though there's really not blue in the sky, there's kind of a purpley tint. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to use, um, this is my tear off palette paper. I'm going to keep my warm colors together and my cool colors together. So generally when I do these, one of the things I like to do is um, just draw out the shape of my wave. And I usually use some chalk to get my shape. So I've got my horizon, which is going to be about here, oop, here. And then and that's okay because, you know, there's land back there. And then I've got the wave. And the wave, it, it's kind of like a tight curl here. Where it kind of goes like that and like that. And then here's where we see kind of the heart shape. And then we get this. And so the water is kind of coming up here. And we'll give it a little tighter. There we go, like that. We'll get some of that reflection in there. All right, so let's give this a try. So I always start with the background first. You know what, I think, I think I'm gonna time us. Let's shoot for, 30 minutes is too long, 15 minutes I feel like is too short for me. So let's shoot for 20 minutes. Okay. Got my smartwatch. It's not as smart as I want it to be, but it works. Okay, 20 minutes and go. All right, so we're gonna get our paint out on the palettes. So here's my colors. It's a gorgeous palette, see? Mostly similar to primary colors, okay. And then I don't have my mixing palette knife, so I'll use one of these. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the background. And I'm going to wet my brush. I have two bowls. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. Real quick. I have two bowls. All right, for mixing my paints. I'm going to start. We're going to get some of that. Um, pull a little bit of this white back here, a little bit of this yellow. Maybe we want some of that. We want, some, we want a lot more white.
in the background. All right, I got my white. So I'm gonna put a little bit back here. And it's kind of a um, pinkish, orangish tint, which I like. All right, and then I'm going to take a portion of it. I'm gonna add yellow to some of my color. Wipe off my brush, go back in here a little bit more, down at the bottom. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. And then we don't want a harsh horizon line, so I'm just going to smooth that up. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of that back in here. Whoosh, whoosh. You like my sound effects? Whoosh, whoosh. And we're going to just get a little bit of some brightness in there. All right, and then I'm going to take the red and then a little bit of blue. It's already, ooh. All right, so before I do that, I want to get some of this color up here. Okay. There we go. Just a little bit. Just enough so that it's in there. And then we're going to get some of that purple in our sky. I may have overdone it with the purple. Yeah, maybe just, nah, it would be okay. Maybe I, you'll see, maybe a little more white. So, you get like a little bit. So we'll get, see, we want it to be like a, it kind of looks painted into the sky anyway. What that painted sky look. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white and go in. We'll give it a little bit of white. There's some clouds in there. Right? Just a little bit swirly. Right, those are just, and we'll, I'm just kind of going back over it like this to kind of give it that painted effect in the sky. You know, all right, doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be done. Okay, and then as you can see in our picture, we have kind of purplies and dark blues, and we have our land in the background, which is really dark because of the sunset. So we will put a little bit of I'm going to use the phthalo blue, I think, for that. Yeah, I'm going to darken my purple. So I'm adding, actually, phthalo blue. I was going to do the cadmium or cerulean blue. I decided to go with phthalo blue. I'm adding a little bit of red. Darken that. I want it nice and dark. Dark, dark, dark. I also want to kind of have a purpley hue so that it's more of a shadow in the background. Not really something that, it's not the focus of our painting, it's just something that's in the background. Okay, so this is the color. This is kind of the color I'm coming up with here. I'm going to take the same brush. And I'm just, I'm going to go from down. Well, first I'm going to I'm going to finish out our wave, kind of, I'll do this part here, right? Here, and then we're going to pull this up. Oh, I didn't want that. Pull this up. You can see while we're doing it that way, right? I don't want the yellow in there, so we're going to pull it up. Pull it up. 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 Right, that's our city background. And then we can clean up that line. Go back in like this. Clean it up. Okay. And we're actually gonna have some transition into yellow over here. 
so that's okay. And then we have our, our sun, which I could actually use a smaller brush for that. Let's see, I've got a number eight shader brush. I'm going to take my white and my yellow and I'm going to make kind of a little sun here. And so that sun, it's not that bright right now. We can definitely add some brightness to it by adding the cadmium yellow light. And I'd say in this case, it's okay. Spread that love, spread the love because we are, we are loving this light. It's giving us some lightness there. Okay, go back with our white and our yellow here and here. It's okay, we can cover it. It's the nice thing about acrylics, so it will cover it up nicely. What is it? <clears throat> My flat. I will put the sizes of the brushes that I use in the description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in and I'm just going to soften the lines that you see. I mean, brush strokes are nice, but in this case, we just kind of want to make it a little bit, like here's a little house, right? And then we've got maybe another little house over here. Bring that up and down to kind of show that there's rooftops. Okay, and then same thing over here. We have kind of a little rooftop there. And then what I would also do in this case is take a liner brush, get it wet, get it in my purple, and let's give us a little palm tree. You know, it's in shadow. That's okay. Might even want to get a little bit more paint on it. Let's make that just a little bit thicker. Because right? it is in shadow. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to be there. All right? I want to maybe do another one. Just kind of pop it out over here. I'm going to get purple off that. And get a little bit more dark. We can always go back in there for more, right? But it's in shadow. I'm going to get kind of dark in there. I can go back and do some more palm fronds later. All right. And then we've got lots of orange and yellow there. So I'm going to go back in with my brighter yellow. And I'm going to paint some of this in here. In here. Bring that sky together. Make sure we get the curve on that. All right, looks pretty. Looks pretty. There we go. All right, so now we're going to go in for the water. And we're going to take the reflection of the sun that's hitting across the sky, but we're going to go in a little bit brighter. So what I want is to make more orange. And I think uh, I'm running out of time. We're not going to hit the 20 minute mark. We're doing pretty good though. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of red into my yellow and I've got to clean. This is a mess. Man, I'm messy. Okay, so a little bit more red and yellow to get a nice bright orange. I'm gonna try and stay away from the titanium white for this one and I'm actually adding a little bit more yellow So I think what we'll do 
is we'll go in with our orange highlights and then we'll go in with the low lights. Right, and we're gonna save the purple that we have. I'm not going to go over that. Purple is very important. We definitely need it for this. It's gonna be the majority of our color, which I really didn't consider that it was purpley, but using the phthalo blue made it nice and purple. Okay. Do, 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 do. I think I said the last one. I can't play music because of copyright issues. I do tend to sing to myself or do 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 to myself. And I still have a bit of a cold, I apologize. Try not to snuffle too much. All right. Ooh, that's not a bad color. That turned out pretty nice. So here's what I've got on my palette. Let's see. Okay. So, and I may just add, that's kind of a mess. I'm gonna add maybe just a little bit of white just to lighten it up a tad. I like the brightness. So I don't, I don't wanna add too much white because we need that vivid color. Definitely need it. And then I'm gonna need to go back in with some yellow. All right, actually, as a matter of fact, we'll do cadmium yellow straight out of the tube. And this is gonna be fun, fun. And it's gonna be okay if our colors touch and blend, that's really what we want. So here's what we'll do. I'm gonna, I'm probably ruining my brush. Um, let me clean this off. All right, I'm gonna go with a smaller brush to start. And I like the flats, the flats are my favorite. I see Miss Penny's outside. All right, so first I'm gonna go in with, um, with my yellow and we're gonna do some reflection here, right? Yes, as you can see. And then as we get a little further out, and it's nice to have those paint strokes, don't be afraid to let some of that paint sit on it. As we go further out, we're gonna maybe get these be a little bit bigger and consider the fact that this is inside a wave. So you're gonna want it to curve up a little bit at least, right? And then as we go out, I'm gonna start blending in a little bit of orange. And that's okay. We want that to blend out. A Little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, just kind of mix it together. Yeah, and then you can see on the edge, it kind of gets darker here. That's okay, we like that. Yes, we do. Yes, gives us interest. We can go back in here and just bring all those together. They are working together. All right, so I'm not going to do much more dark right there. I'll wipe the dark off of my brush. I'm going to go back in. We're going to do a lot more orange and maybe even grab a little bit of red inside the wave because we want that to be dark. So here's my plan. I'm going to go to each side I'm gonna do the dark center here, and then last we'll go across the top. All right, so bear with me while we go for it. We're gonna just go for it. You know what, I'm gonna use a bigger brush for this so that we make better time. All right, let's go for it. We've got lots of orange paint to do. I'm gonna keep in mind that we're going all the way across. Beautiful. Well, so we didn't make the 20 minute mark, but that's okay. You can see we're gonna go across here. Might even wanna make a little edge like that and bring it back and wanna cover that dark line. See if we can't meet that right there. There we go. And look, look at the paint. Look how that paint is just laying in there. All right, so we're getting our First layer, I have painter's tape that is holding this onto the canvas. All right, and then we're gonna start going into our yellow. First, we're getting this, and this area is gonna be a little bit darker, so I'm leaving it, because I don't wanna put a million layers like I do with my paintings, is I do put a lot of layers in there. All right, so here's where we're gonna get some blending of the 
orange into the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue on here. Here. See how I do that. A smaller brush would be better here, but for right now, we're just going to, and we're going to blend it out at that angle since it's going to make sure we get that, that tight curl here. Here we go. Get that tight curl in here. All right, so then here is where I might have two colors on my brush. I'll have yellow and I'll have orange. And then I will do like this. I'll just take them back and forth and let them kind of blend in there together like that. They can blend into a new color or they stay their own color and it just creates a lovely effect. I will rinse my brush off or I'll turn it over. That'd probably be the better thing to do. I've got both my orange and my yellow, just a little bit of yellow in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to kind of go back and forth. Sound effects help. All right. There we go. We get that. And then we just want to make sure we get that color coverage here. All right. And then I'm going to take, go back into this area with yellow. I'm going to take the bright yellow. That's perfectly fine. We've got orange in here, so it's going to make its own colors. It's just all going to blend together. And you know, uh, you want to keep it closer to this and it can be darker out here because this is where the light is. There we go. Very nice. And then, um, Okay, I'm going to go in with the purple to finish out the bottom and then we'll work on the top. So here we go. We're going to go in here. And I like the contrast when we get these dark blues or dark purples in the water. It may not seem like what you would see in real life, but if it's dark and the sun is setting, uh, the water is almost black. You know, you can almost not see it. So purple, if you consider that water is blue, your light is yellow, and you've got the orange reflection of the sun. So you've got the orange and blue is going to make this natural purple tint. So this isn't like it's something you wouldn't necessarily see in nature. It's just not as obvious to the human eye. All right, we're going to get some dark over here. Beautiful. All right, so in our picture, we have a little bit of a darker in here, and then it gets light here. So we're going to continue with the process we've been doing, which is light, then dark. And um, it doesn't matter, but in this case, because, because we're doing this so quickly, oh, and you know what, I'm going to just come back and you know, I'm going to take a smaller brush real quick. I'm not worried. And I'm just going to just soften this, make it a little more curved like that. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're going to do the top. We're going to start with this area. Now, normally with these areas, I use palette knives and I get a lot of texture. We're not going to do that today. Today, we're going to try and keep this simple. We're going to use brushes, but I think it would be the best brush for this. And I have done this in my some of my paintings. Um, let's see, it's pretty big. All right, so the number 10. This is kind of bigger than what I would want. Let's see, but I don't have anything in between. Something in between would be perfect. So there's a lot of motion in those waves. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of yellow in here. Then I'm going to pop some orange in here and then some orange around here. And then I'll go back in with the purple. And I think I am going to start with the bigger brush and then maybe go in with details with the smaller one and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so we're going to start with the yellow. So I'm going to get my brush just a tad wet. I don't like an overly wet brush because I like the thickness of the paint. Right, so we're going to go, look, there is some light here. 
and I'm going to go over that with orange because I don't want it to be too bright. We're just trying to make sure we do get some white, uh, light, lightness in there. Okay. And then maybe a little bit down here. Right? There we go. Right in there. Okay. And we'll get a little bit more. Um, so the light is going to hit the underside of the wave. You know what? There we go. Lost my picture for a second. And this is probably going to be more orange, but because I want it to be that nice, bright color, I'm going to do yellow. I think it's going to be really pretty. And then we'll just, psh, 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 right? Because we're going to paint over this. Okay, so let me rinse that. I'm going to go back in with some orange. And you see we're not changing the colors. Once we've got our colors, we're kind of keeping them where they are. We're just using the other colors to blend. So I'm taking my orange that I blended. I'm going to start, hmm, I think I'm going to start here. No, I'm going to start with the brightest areas and work my way out. Yep. All right. So we're going to just kind of scrub it around a little bit. I think some of that yellow is showing. Water is moving. So we definitely want to, although we like some of these beautiful streaks, we definitely want to show a little bit of motion in there, which is why we use something like this. And we just kind of scrub it around, let it move. Don't worry about it being perfect. And we like that. Look at the streaks. Look, looks natural. Looks totally natural. All right, we're going to go in here with this. Right, and we're going to scrub around it. And then it gets a little bit darker up there, so I'm not going to focus too much on that. I do want to go in with maybe, in that area, because I like it nice and bright, I've got my orange and my yellow mixed together. And I'm going to just add some more color in here. Just move it around. Yeah, and get some little bit of brightness up in here. There we go. Right, here we go. And then we'll bring it back. And you can see in the picture, it gets a little bit darker. So I will bring some orange back in here. And I'm gonna go back in, mostly with orange, in this area. And I'm gonna define the curl, right? And it's important, I'm gonna get a smaller brush for this, to keep your edges as rounded as possible. Like it doesn't have to hit exactly where we drew our lines, right? What's more important is that it look fluid. Put a little bit more yellow in there. Orange. It look, needs to look fluid. It should look like one wave. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my bigger brush and a lot of paint and I'm going to kind of zoom and I'm okay with that we want it we want all this we want all this motion and I don't want to be able to see the yellow I just want that yellow underneath okay and I'm gonna go back in here and we can see we've got some motion going this way motion going this way and then I'm gonna go back in here with purple but first I want to make sure I lay this orange down so that there will be some areas where you'll be able to see that orange light through the dark of the wave. I'm going to bring a little bit more in here and I'm going to leave it nice and thick. I like that thick paint. All right and then oh, we'll just make sure it pops all the way just a little bit. Carry it not quite to the edge and I notice here it's a little bit dark, right? And then, all right, so now I'm gonna pop in the purple. I'm gonna leave my big brush. And I'm not gonna worry too much about getting all the orange off. Because it's all gonna blend together anyway. I'm gonna start over here, because I want this to be nice and dark. So we get some nice contrast. And then I'm going to blend it in 
here. All right, we want it to be kind of smooth. We want a lot of paint. You can see how it's kind of dark. It's kind of like, I don't know what to do here. So sometimes just, just circling that brush will give you a nice soft edge. All right, and then we're gonna come in here. And I think um, we'll do something like this. There we go. That gives us something nice and it blends it in. And then you can see, the, there we go. Now we're blending in, getting some nice motion. And there we go, we can get some of that orange back in there. I'm just getting a little bit more paint here where we've got this motion. Make it nice and dark. So you can see where the purple hits the orange, it starts to lighten up. And that's what we want. Because you still want to see that that's deep water but it is lightening up the wave. We like this, like this. And I don't worry too much about this, you know, um, cause I want it all to blend. And we're gonna just make sure that little bits of orange are popping out here and there. Yeah, and so, you can see, and I'm gonna go back in with a smaller brush just to make those lines of motion nice and small. So first I'm gonna go over here to this side and we're gonna bring a little bit of, of the purple in here. And the water motion is gonna go in all different directions. So it doesn't have to be, and I, I wipe my brush off on a towel, which by the way is getting goopy. See my hands? <laughs> You gotta watch what you're doing. Um, it's time for a new towel, I think. And I want to see, I wanna see my strokes, you know? I want it to be kind of swirly. I want the swirls. I wanna see this. I want it to all kind of, I wanna see that little bit of red underneath. I wanna see the yellow underneath. You know, I may even go back in with more yellow later, like that, so that we can make sure it's all swirly and get a little bit more dark purple in here. It's kind of nice. You get those light streaks in here. Yeah. Go back in with a little bit of orange in here too. Get that nice and fluid. Then I'm going to go back in with my purple over here. This just makes them smaller. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more orange. Let's make sure we got a lot of motion, lots of motion. We're gonna go back in here. And it's up to you how this looks, you know? Sometimes I do it with my brush, but usually I do brush and palette knife. Sometimes I get a little carried away. So this might be one of those moments when I might get just a little bit carried away. So I take some purple in there. Make sure I want it to be kind of transparent. Right, and the transparency comes from the lighter colors. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of white and yellow in here. Hopefully without making it look muddy. Muddiness is coming from the purple, so I'll try and keep that to a minimum. If I can blend this out. There we go. We lost our edge, so we're just going to put it back in with a little bit of light. 
can get a little bit of orange and yellow in here. A little bit of orange and yellow back in here. There we go. And then we can, as you can see over here, we lost a little bit of our edge. We got a little carried away. So I will paint that back in. Mm-hmm. There we go. That looks nice. I can even lighten up some of this purple. I think actually that's a really good idea. Lighten up a little bit of it and bring that in here. Lighter color. I want to make sure we can still see some of that orange. So a light touch, a light touch is what we want in here. But we still want to be able to see all of that. All right, and then if we want to bring more highlights in, what I would do is I would lighten up my orange at this point. So something kind of like that, it's really light. And then I know it's wet, so it might be a little hard to get it in there, but I would just go, psh, you know, let's get some nice little light orange highlights in there. Okay, and then maybe some lighter yellow, lighter yellow, much lighter yellow. There's my yellow. Looks a lot like the orange, doesn't it? But it's not, it's a little different, right? Just a little lighter. Get some of that in here. Maybe bring some of that over here. Being really gentle with my dress brushes. So it's almost dry. And then I'm gonna bring a little bit more. Actually, that's a really good idea. Bring some of that light yellow. To bring a little bit of light in here. Going up the wave. Actually, I'm gonna change brushes. <clears throat> Flat brush. Flat brush. And we're gonna bring some light in here. In here. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a dry brush. Because what I want is a thin layer, and we're just lightening it up so we get lots of reflection. And for this, I really want a lot of yellow reflection over the red, right? And that actually is gonna make this red up here look, or this orange look almost red. And then it's okay if we put it, you know, Mix a little bit in there. And then I like the lights right along the edges of my water. Like that. And then we'll give ourselves um, some light orange and yellow highlights. This is where I wanted to go back in. So acrylics dry pretty quickly. So I would avoid the big clumps. I don't like to paint over wet paint. I like to paint over dry paint, which is why I like acrylic so much. So if you can avoid any big clumps where you have, I say clumps, but nice brush strokes, then just go back in with your light orange, yellow mixture, and let's just throw in some highlights for good measure. Here, let me show you what my brush looks like. Yeah, so, and, I know I fill my brush up too much, it's a bad habit, but I'm just painting with the tip and we're just giving ourselves some nice little highlights and they don't, they shouldn't be exactly the same. You want them to kind of be thin, but we're gonna just kind of throw them all in here. And then we can even go lighter. 
You could go with white, but I think in this case you don't need to. If you do with a super light yellow, that's really the lightest that you should go. Mm. Not flat enough. go back over it and sometimes it's nice you may have noticed this in some of my paintings I'll just go over some of my um, highlights with a lighter color next to it it just gives it a really pretty contrast so and it almost gives the highlight a shadow I mean you don't have to be this thoughtful about it you can just throw them in there here we go and I think now I feel like we need to get this a little bit brighter. I would be done, but because I feel like we need some white in here and we need to get that brighter, but I don't want it to be white. So the best way to make it look brighter, we're going to get some, oh, maybe I should use a smaller brush. I'll use my other flat for this. So I'm going to go back to my tiny flat here. So I'm going to mix my orange and my yellow and get myself a nice bright orange. Nice bright orange. Better. Dried to a really pretty color. And I'm gonna blend it. And we don't want it to look too yucky there. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with my yellow yellow right in here because we started with white we should be able to get a nice bright color there and i'm actually going to go back over here this orange a little bit yeah there we go that gives us a nice bright orange color i like that okay here we go and then on top of that, we can put just the tiniest bit of white. We don't want white, white, but it's not gonna look white, white because we're putting it over yellow. So even though titanium white is opaque, we're just, I use thin, thin paint. So I've just got a little bit on my brush here. So we're just going to, so the best way to do this might just be to make a little circle. Right, and just kind of fill it in. I like the white showing, but I want to make sure it looks, you can see the yellow underneath. I'm not used to sitting like this with my paint, so I usually can do a better circle. So oh, I'm just gonna, there we go. Nothing like cheating. All right, and so then I'm gonna take the corner, just the corner. I'm gonna give a little bit of, a little additional highlights right in here. Here we go, and then I'll go to my flat here, like this, right? You can smooch it a little bit. Make that nice and bright. We won't bring it down too far because we want the brightest part to be near the sun. Here we go, and I think we're done. I think we're done. It's not too scary. I think it turned out okay. I can see that we're kind of peeling. Now it's okay that I didn't go all the way because really this paper is bigger than eight and a half by 11. So I will let you get a closer look at what we did today. I'm gonna take my, bear with me. Okay. So here we go. Now you can always wait for it to dry and go back in with some more details. If I were gonna continue with this painting, I would probably go back in with a few more highlights here. Not a lot, just a little bit. But you see we've got some good motion there. We've got some lovely highlights here with our sun. We've got our lovely backdrop and our sky. It's a wispy sky, and we do see a lot of those here. So I think we did a pretty good job. <sighs> wow.
Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to paint with me. I needed some practice. I needed to get a little bit faster. And as you can see, uh, when you paint quickly, you can still get the basic concept of a painting. You can still get beautiful colors and some simple details. You just kind of loosen up your brush strokes and just get the general idea. I didn't try to be exact to the picture because let's face it, you're not gonna have your photograph right next to your painting when you hang it up in your house. So from what I understand with these um, canvas paper is that they can be mounted to board. Now I don't know that I'm gonna do that. I bought them for practice, they're super cheap. I just need to work on getting a little bit quicker, maybe trying some new techniques. And so that's what I've chosen. And if I'm gonna practice, I might as well practice with you. So thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you at the beach. Bye. Ooh. Tea. Do what you love. <laughs> I'm a noisy drinker. Want to see my palette? And this is what I ended up with. And I did not use any cerulean blue, which is funny. I really thought I would, but I don't think we needed it. Messy mm -hmm. palette. Ooh, I should save the paint and use it for something else. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really had a lot of fun with this and it was really great practice. So I'm thinking about doing another painting in March and I hope you'd like to join me. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to see more of these types of paintings. And if you'd like to follow me on my art journey, you can subscribe on YouTube or you can go to my website artisticsurf.net and you can follow my blog and I do have a link to an events page if you'd like to come out to one of my art shows I list them about once a month so I'd really like to meet you in person and see you out there so thank you so much again for joining me and maybe I'll see you at the beach bye